get a lot of um, emails in from our family members asking for relationship advice or family advice and different things like that so we do a lot of reactions to like pranks and music videos and a lot of laughter stuff but we ran across some different types of videos that we thought could possibly help our family out in some type of way um, so this one is called Seven Signs of an Emotionally Abusive Relationship. All women must watch. Mm, mm, mm. You, you hear it. It has it in bold. Yeah. All women must watch. So I think... So hopefully some of the things that we said on some of our videos will come to light in some of these videos that we yeah. might watch. And maybe they can say it in a different way than we exactly. could or touch on things that we probably miss. Yeah. But um, I think even if you don't think that you're in an emotionally, re uh, in an abusive relationship because people um, tend to think that abuse is only physical, yeah. but emotional is, abuse is abuse as well. So we're going to do this reaction and just see what they come up with. Some things we may not agree with. Yeah. Some things we may My agree with, but... We'll see, and hopefully it can help someone else out. Exactly. But before we get to the video, please be sure to give us a big thumbs up, subscribe, man. Share this video on all of your social media, however you see fit. All right, guys, let's get to the video. Hey there, Adam Lidolce from SexyConfidence.com and in this video right now, I'm going to reveal the seven signs that you might have been in or are currently in an abusive relationship and exactly what you can do about it moving forward. So this past week, a video has been released, and it's of a professional football player, Ray Rice, punching his girlfriend in an elevator, and it sparked me to finally video. create yeah. this video. Yeah. And I gotta say, I'm yeah. f***ing perplexed that any man would ever lay a hand on a woman, or even dream of laying a hand on a woman. Now, I believe that there are two types of men on this planet, and only two types. One is the men who hit women, and two are the men who would never dream of hitting women. And if any man has ever laid a hand on you or ever does lay a hand on you, I'm sorry he falls in this category, and that means you need to take action today and remove yourself from the relationship. Now, as you may have realized, not all abuse is physical. Emotional abuse can actually be just as bad, if not worse, it's than not physical worse, abuse. Yeah. Sure, a bruised lip might hurt you for a few weeks, but a bruised mind? That can mess with you for a lifetime. And because I know that love can create this like blinder goggle that doesn't allow you to see mm -hmm. all the shit that's around you in a relationship, I've compiled the seven signs that you may be in that emotionally abusive relationship or maybe you've previously been in an emotionally abusive relationship. Number one. Number one is that he's literally a psycho sadist. I mean, he feels better about himself the more that he puts you down. Nice maybe he move. constantly humiliates you, maybe he constantly criticizes you, maybe he just loves to embarrass you as much as possible. And let me tell you, all all of these things are totally unacceptable. A yeah. guy in a healthy relationship will actually be a psycho supportist who literally feels so good about himself every single time that he lifts you up. You're like the greatest woman ever. Okay, maybe <laughs> psycho supportist implies that he gets off on supporting you. Let's just stick with supportive. He's supportive. He yeah. props you up whenever right. you're in need and you do the same for him because it's a healthy relationship. Right. Number two. Number two is that you're forced to always put his needs in front of your own needs because you are terrified about how you might react. Yeah. A healthy relationship means you put him ahead of yourself like because he is putting your needs ahead of his own, yep. thus creating symmetry. If the relationship is too one-sided, then the relationship will yeah, fail eventually. And then it does, nowhere. don't stay there to pick up the pieces. Just walk away and find a relationship that does have that symmetry. Number three. Number three is that he makes you believe that you and only you are the reason why the relationship is struggling. I and that you, that. of course, are the crazy person. Man. You're the person who needs to change. You're the person who needs to put in more of the effort. You, 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 not him. Well, let me tell you, a healthy relationship is not to be it's cheesy not. here, but I'm going to be cheesy. A healthy relationship is all about teamwork. It's if nice. something is a little bit off, then you both put your heads together and try to figure it out together. And if it can be solved, then great.
great. The relationship can move right. on. And if it can't be solved, then you know what? The relationship ends. Okay, and just yeah, remember, crazy people so always tell you that you are crazy because they are mm -hmm. crazy. Number four. Number four is that he cheats on you or he intentionally tries to make you jealous. A healthy relationship yeah, is one without lies or deception or manipulation. And if you've committed yourself wholeheartedly to this guy, then it's totally fair for you to 100% oh, expect things, him to do the same for you. For and if he's not to, holding up to that I mean, end of the bargain, then it's your just, turn to make yep. him crazy jealous when you break up with him and finally find a great guy who loves and respects you. Number five. Number five is that he treats you more like a pet than he treats you like a person. Oh, I mean, wow. does he control wherever it is that you go or what it is you do? Or does he keep you from seeing your friends or your family or even limit your access to money or the phone or the car? Any of these things. Or is he just constantly checking up on you? Mm -hmm. I mean, a healthy relationship is an equal relationship. And if he's trying to be your it's pet sad. owner, then you know what? It. Go bite his hand I off. Know just kidding. A few people. Don't bite his hand off. Just break up with him. Number six. Number six is that he makes you feel inferior by negatively comparing you to other people or to other women. I mean, is he always trying to make you feel just oh, insecure wow. about yourself as he compares you to other people? Wow. If he's doing this, then first off, communicate how that makes you feel because maybe he doesn't understand yeah, no, that. Like but if this. he keeps doing that, yeah. then make sure that you just go ahead and compare him to the other men out there. Nope, just uh -huh. kidding. Don't fight fire with fire. Uh -huh. just don't yeah, you do. It. Get out. Fuck him up. relationships <laughs> still might involve you being compared to other people, but only in the positive sense of it. We are literally the best couple in existence. Number seven. Number seven is that you're just afraid of him. I actually just Googled the antonym Literally. of afraid, and the antonym or the opposite of afraid is confident. If there's fear in a relationship, there will always be an imbalance. So end the toxic relationship. And if you're too afraid to end it, then it's time to get a little bit of help. Use some of the links right there below for some resources that might help you. And after watching this video, you might just come to the realization that it's time for you to become single again. Yeah. And just remember, being Pretty single is be always better be than being yourself. abused, whether or not it's emotional or physical abuse. Because if a relationship doesn't make you a better person, Leave. then it's the wrong one. Yeah. And when you do move on, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to open yourself up again. Don't let one bad experience and one bad relationship make you harden to life. Don't let his pain make you hateful. And don't forget that the world is still full of incredible love and it's your God-given right to discover it and embrace it. All right, all right, baby, all right. So he nailed the seven signs of emotional abuse. I don't say I, that those are all of the all signs. All the signs, but, but yes, those, those are, are kind of the most seven. common signs. Those those are a lot of the signs that people see. The the red flags is what I call them. You see that they're there, but you are so like he said, you love you have the love glasses on, so you don't really pay attention to them. Yeah. So those those are a lot of things that I think people Overlook. see, but they they don't want to see it because they're so in love with that person. I mean, you you in I've love with a person, yeah. You in love with a person enough, you overlook it. Yeah, I think we all been there at one point in time. Yeah, because I looked up a few signs with a few people before too. So yeah, I think we all been there. So you were in an emotional abusive relationship, you trying to say? It wasn't like extreme like that, but it was to a certain point it was. Yeah. But I, I think we all had them sign some type of one of those signs before. One or two of those signs before. Not everything, because not every relationship is gonna be like that. Yeah, no, but I, I was seeing the signs in my relationship, so no, I'm I'm, I'm good now. But, oh yeah, yeah. But I, hey, I don't see those. But hey, those are some of the signs of those type of relationships. If it's one of your relationship, hey, that's you. You know how to kind of work that out, if that's the case. But uh, hopefully, this video helps some of you guys in a better way, and. If you like this video, please give us a big thumbs up, subscribe in, share this video on all of the social media, however you see fit. All right, guys, later. Peace. Bye. Hey, hey family. Thanks, thanks for, for watching. watching. Please be sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Also, check out our latest video and be sure to subscribe. Bye, Bye guys. guys.